The crepe weave is also a derivative of the plain weave. The most common crepes are cam weaves and are typically made with high twist warp and filling yarns. The twist may range from a 5.0 twist multiple or higher. The fabric may also use alternating S and Z twist yarn to accentuate the crepe effect. After weaving and during finishing, the fabric relaxes and the high twist makes the fabric surface become pebbly in an appearance that is called crepe. It should be noted that this fabric can be difficult to weave on air jet looms due to the tendency of the high twist filling yarns to kink. The Bedford cord is a weave characterized by cord lines that run warp-wise in the cloth. The weave between the cords is usually plain weave. However, the weave of the cord can be plain or twill. There are several filling or weft floats on the back of the fabric, causing the yarns to bunch and form the cords in the cloth. A stuffer yarn can be used when the cord effect needs to be more pronounced. The PK is a weave characterized by cords that run widthwise or in the filling direction. The fabric requires at least three harnesses and repeats over the needed number of ends to create the desired width of the whale. As can be seen, the Bedford cord has cords in the warp direction and PK has cords in the weft direction. Corduroy is a pile fabric. The pile or cords of the corduroy fabric is always formed with the filling yarn. The cords or whales may number from 1 to 22 per inch of fabric. Corduroy can be made with one warp and one or two fillings. When two types of filling are used, the fabric is called ground pick corduroy. Corduroy can be made as single binder or double binder. Double binder is when two ends are weaving as one in the warp. Corduroy can also have a V-shaped pile, a W-shaped pile, or a combination of both. The choice of binder and pile shape affects the cost and performance of the fabric. The V-pile is the simplest to cut, but once cut, the pile has a higher tendency to come out of the fabric. The W-pile, due to its multiple interlacings with the ground warp, is less likely to be pulled out from the fabric during use and care. Some corduroy has a combination of both V and W. Usually seen in wide whale goods, the W will add to the stability of the outside of the whale and the V will give each whale good height in the middle. The result can be a very pronounced whale. After the fabric comes off the loom, the pile picks must be cut. A specially shaped guide needle is inserted in the fabric above the ground ends and picks, but below the pile picks. A rotary knife is inserted in the slot of the needle and is lowered so that it will cut the pile picks but not the ground fabric. In wide whale corduroy, each whale is cut during a single pass, but with fine whale corduroy, it is necessary to cut half the cords during a first pass. On the second pass through the knives, the remaining uncut cords are cut. Normally, every other whale is cut on the first pass and the remaining whales are cut on the second pass. All whales cannot be cut at the same time due to the limitations of the cutting machine. This extra pass through the knives adds considerably to the cost of the finished fabric as well as the chance of creating seconds. Velvet is a pile fabric that can be made from two or more ground and pile warps. The pile is created by the warp. The pile can be V-shaped, W-shaped, or a combination of both. Most velvet fabrics are woven as two fabrics and they are separated at the loom or during a separate operation off the loom. Velvet pile is less than one-eighth of an inch in height. Pile heights over one-eighth of an inch are referred to as plush fabrics. Velveteen is a pile fabric formed by the filling. The pile of velveteen fabric is shorter than the pile of velvet. Very little velveteen is woven today due to the extremely high number of picks per inch which can be as high as 400. Fabrics with extremely complicated woven designs are manufactured using a jacquard loom. In jacquard weaving, each individual warp end can be controlled instead of a series or groups of warp ends as in harness looms. This separate yarn control provides the greatest freedom for the designer because large intricate patterns can be transferred to fabric. Jacquard designs will involve at least two of the basic weaves such as satin weave or plain weave in various arrangements to form patterns.